Whoa. Del Mar Dog Life. Carmel Del Mar. The Carmel Valley Recreation Center. Today, I have a new guest with me. This is uh, Rufus. He is a seven-year-old German Shepherd mix. And uh, we're doing some drop-in walks with him this week. Spending some time together. I wanted to... Uh, his his family's going out uh, uh, for the week, and their adult son is watching, but he ha he's he got school and such, so he's not going to be in, so I'm doing a few drop-ins, and uh, now we're, you know, this is my first time alone with this doggy, and he's being a really good boy. He's seven years old. Uh, he, he hurt his leg yesterday. Uh, I guess he was jumping out of bed and he hurt his leg um, when he was jumping out. So he's got a little bit of a limp this morning. Uh, we got him on the gentle leader. He's he's doing well with the gentle leader. I guess he's been using it for a while. So he's, he's comfortable with it. I, uh, I borrowed this harness so that I could have something to uh, grab a hold of. Uh, I, I, I wasn't because yesterday when I met him he was he had a lot more energy and he was jumping all over me he was he, he, he jumped he reached up to my shoulder when he jumped so but today he's he's kind of acting his age of seven so he's moving a little slower especially since he you know twisted his paw um, otherwise I'm hoping that he doesn't have you know, his hips seem to be good everything else as well he seems to be a good boy uh the owner told me he has he's been reactive to other dogs lately he'll do some lunging and jumping just like the last year or so he saw he, that he likes to uh bark at the uh the neighbor's dog through the fence and that's one of his new hobbies is barking at the neighbor's dog through the fence so uh you know maybe something's happened in the last few years that he's decided he or he started a rivalry and she said that he kind of gave a little lunge a few times she can't she said she can't take him to the dog park anymore and she can't take him to uh you know at the pet hotel she has to, they had to walk him separately so let's see how he, i want to see if he does some following here up oh, yeah, he's doing good is doing nice little turns with me. This is after seven years. Of, he's probably really good on the gentle leader. Up. Let's rub it off. Up, up. Come on. Up, up. Turn. This way. There's a doggy over here. He's going to notice him soon. So I've got a treat right here for him. That's nice. See in the distance there's a corgi over there. So maybe I can keep him distracted knows what's up. He knows what I got. He knows we got the the good turkey bits. I keep, I keep it in this little reusable food pouch here. So at least at least he let you know he's letting me feed him and he's trusting me enough to do that so I'm happy with that. Let's move along. I want to see how we are when we pass this doggy over here little bit. So this is the very first time uh, walking this dog. So yesterday he was just he was just full of energy and so much jumping and it's, it's a whole different dog today since uh, when the meat he was jumping he was happy. Oh here's another doggy over here. So he doesn't seem to be, notice it or doesn't seem to care. So we'll walk over here. Let's go back this way. Yeah, oh, you see the doggy over there? Here, let's go over here. Oh, are you trying to take it off? The, I don't think he's been to this park before. Oh, come on back, let's see if you, he does a U-turn well. And let's do another U-turn. So, that's happy. So I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping to have, you know, this guy around more weekly. So it seems like, uh, it's, I'm really happy for the drop-ins at least. Let's come over here, buddy. He's not he's not uh, upset with this corgi. The corgi on the side over here. 
but he doesn't seem to be reacting at all. I don't know. I, mean, I think, I think she, it's just the neighbor's dog. You know, he's got a wag. He gives a wag, but it's the neighbor's dog, maybe. And definitely on leash, it's a whole different attitude as opposed to off leash. Or I'll have to introduce him to Coco. Oh, that's a person running. Is that interesting? Let's go this way. Come on. Okay, let's walk here, and then we'll do another U-turn. And you're being a good boy. You're being a good boy with me. I'm pretty happy with that. Wow, the soccer, there's a soccer camp over here. They're going to be playing soccer with the kids soon. It looks like it's set up for little kids for soccer camp. And he's staying next to me. Uh, what do we stop for? This guy over here? Come on, move along. We're good. I don't want to... I know you hurt your leg, so I don't want you to do a lot of do a lot of something strain to uh, hurt your leg even more. Oh, we got a bug on his ear too. He's, he's a good boy. He's letting me play. He, he was jumping. It was a playful jump. So, and I think every dog barks at the dog on the other side of the fence. That's just pretty normal stuff. Um, and who knows, being a senior dog, he just got crankier. I'm a cranky senior dog. So I'm going to uh, wrap this up here again. Uh, I have a sponsor, T Amelia T, T E A M E L L I A. Great tea, great life. T Amelia T, uh, lots of green teas. Uh, Jin Mai Cha, Matcha tea, black tea, milky powder teas, decaffeinated teas, herbal teas shipped to your home in the U.S. T Amelia dot com link in the description